What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. So today uh, we are back in the uh, the bait lab, bait cave, man cave, whatever you want to call it, uh, getting some uh, tackle prep stuff ready uh, for the upcoming uh, fishing season. So as you've seen the other day, we uh, we just recently painted uh, this glide, which is a uh, bone dog, pretty sweet, huh? I like that red, red's pretty cool. But today uh, today we got a little something simpler uh, planned. So uh, let's go ahead and jump into that now. Okay, so on our last video, uh, it was a little more in-depth uh, uh, painting type stuff uh, with the glide. Today's going to be something a little bit simpler. Uh, so I don't know if anybody's ever heard of uh, Bradley, uh, Bradley Hallman. He's uh, just a well-known uh, professional bass fisherman, fished you know, all across the, uh, the leagues, uh, MLF, Bassmaster, all that, whatnot. But he's, uh, he's known for his LBJ, which is a little brown jig. Hmm? Makes sense? Anyways, it's his favorite thing to fish. He's known for it. He's put it on the map, right? And he dominates with this thing. So today we're going to be kind of taking the same approach, but ours is going to be an LBG, little brown glide. So this is the dude that we're working on today. So this little glide, it's like a little swim bait, right? Uh, has a nice little brown tail, uh, soft. It's the soft bristle type tail. And uh, it is in bone color already. Right, so I know technically it's not brown, so it could be little uh, bone, little bone glide, LBG, whatever you want to call it. Anyways, we're going to take this bait and make a very, very simple, uh, effective tool uh, that I'm going to call the little bone glide. So how are we going to do that, you ask? Well, it's very simple. Only thing this bait needs is some eyes and some hardware. I mean, that's about as simple as it gets. You know what I'm saying? So we're gonna get some eyes picked out, and I think I kind of have an idea already. The ones that I really want. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, these are the ones right here. Check these things out. See these right here in the middle? These right here? That is going to look slick on this bait, right? That yellow with that red. So yeah, little bone glide. Let's put it together. So for this, we really don't need a whole lot of tools. We need some super glue, we need some eyes, and we need a bone glide. A little dab of that there glue, and one of these him here eyes. I'm gonna take that old eye, plop her down in there. And that's about as easy as it gets, y'all. I ain't gonna lie. Little eye, a little glue. That thing is gonna be so sweet. All right, now we do is flip it over and do the same thing for the other side. Nice. That looks slick. All right. That is about as simple as it gets. But you remember what I said in the last video, keep it simple, stupid. Kiss method is something we're going to start doing more of because a lot of this stuff doesn't need to be as hard as we make it. I guarantee it. So the only thing left to do in, on this, uh, this particular project is that we're going to seal these eyes. So I'm just going to take uh, some UV uh, resin. This is the UV resin I use, uh, ordered off Amazon. You know, I like Amazon. And I'm going to take and uh, we're going to just put a little dab to kind of fill up that cavity. Uh, and then we'll use our UV light. Uh, actually, I have a flashlight. I got a UV tank too, but flashlight's quick and easy for this one. So we'll use the UV light and uh, we'll just kind of seal that up like that right quick. All right. So we're just going to fill up that cavity there. Just a little dab. Just like that. And we're going to... Oh, kind of level it out in there. Oh, it's freaking perfect, man. Perfect. All right, let me hurry up and dry this right quick. UV activated. You only got to hold it on there for a couple seconds. I like to give it a couple extra just to make sure. Uh, I overdo everything, I know. But it looks awesome. That bubble uh, kind of filled that cavity up. I'll show you here in just a second. But uh, it, it just it makes that eye pop. It looks super cool. All right, that should be good. Check this out. Look how freaking sweet that looks. Ah, focus on that. That is awesome. That's awesome. Okay, let's do the other side. Let's see if I can get the exact same amount, which is a little tricky. I think I can do it. Just a little dabby, little dabby do. Level it off a little bit. Looks pretty good. All right, go ahead and cure that. Right. Check 
her out. Just how, how it makes those eyes pop. It looks so stinking sweet. Okay, I'm gonna stick it in the UV box for just a minute, uh, just for good measure. I know, it probably doesn't need it. This thing does everything you need it to do, but I'll be right back. Looks done to me. Oh yeah, that looks freaking slick, man. Hard to see, but that uh, UV resin makes them eyes, uh, eyes pop. Makes them kind of look bulgy and bubbly. Yeah, all right, so hooks. Let's, let's go see what hooks we got. So I'm thinking uh, number two or number three. There's one. Okay, so here's number three, short shank. We'll look at that. Um, uh, we'll bring the red to look. We'll see. Uh, let's see, what else? We got number two, short shank red as well. And then we got number two, long shank. Hmm. Let's see. And uh, we already looked at the number two. Okay, let's uh, let's just grab these and look at that. We'll look at these and see. We got a couple different options. I'm going number two. Number two, uh, short shank. All right, split rings. See ya. Yeah. All right, there's one hook. Oh, can't see nothing there. <laughs> one hook. Let's get the other one on there. And number two. All right, hooks are on. Ah, now we're done. Snap ring installed. Perfect, so line tie and hooks. And if I have to say so myself, looks pretty freaking sick, doesn't it? Really happy with this one. Really happy with this one. So, like I said, today, very simple. This is a very, very simple project. But it's already in a bone color, so it made perfect sense. And dock fishing, so that is the main reason why I want this. This is going to be a dock killer. Dock killer. So uh, the little brown jig uh, that Bradley Holman uh, fishes all the time, it's his specialty. I mentioned that earlier. But I've listened to podcasts, and he has such a simple approach with this jig. It makes perfect sense. But like around docks and stuff, it just murders them. And I really like the glide bait and the swim bait fishing. So I was like, man, let's kind of try and, you know, translate some of that over to our style of fishing and see what we can come up with. So as I'm looking at my slew of baits that I got in, uh, check out that video if you haven't. Pretty, pretty sweet. Got a lot more to come too. But uh, I started thinking, I was like, you know what? <laughs> little bone glide, baby. Little bone glide. Let's get it. So yeah, that's it for today. If you don't mind, go ahead and give us a click, a like, a share, all that good stuff. Making fishing great again, baby. It's the new slogan. I'm sticking with it. But yeah, I got stuff to do, man. I got to get out of here. Catch y'all later.